The 75th anniversary of the first ever Spitfire flight was marked in Kent over the weekend and as Ali Gibson reports there's still plenty of affection for the aircraft. Never in the field of human conflict was so much owed by so many to so few. The Spitfire. At the vanguard of the Battle of Britain and a symbol of the RAF fight to save Britain from imminent invasion. Wherever you go in the world, uh, you talk about aeroplanes and the Second World War, everyone talks about Spitfires, Spitfires all the time, the Germans, the Japanese, everybody. Designed by R.J. Mitchell, the Spitfire was born 75 years ago when test pilot Captain Mutt Summers took to the skies over Southampton in the first ever prototype on the 5th of March 1936. This is an exact replica of the prototype Spitfire that Captain Summers first flew all those years ago and it's reported that he was so impressed when he landed the plane that he told his engineers, don't change a thing. The flight lasted just eight minutes but marked a turning point in British aviation history. Historically, it was a big step to go from wooden structures with bits of string holding the wings together to an all-metal airplane with a huge great engine on the front um, capable of 340 odd miles an hour. The K5054 replica formed part of the spectacle that greeted visitors to the Battle of Britain Memorial in Capel Le Fern this weekend, with both young and old queuing up to get their picture taken inside of the cockpit. A lucky few were also able to get up close to a 1941 Spitfire and fly alongside the plane as it took off from Manston Airfield, heading over the fields and villages over which the battle was fought. Now you just look at the aeroplane now, it is a work of art, you know, there's not a straight line on it, it's gorgeous, but it's not that, it's, it's the art meets technology and the performance as well. The performance is exceptional for a, a, an aeroplane of its era. With enthusiasm for the aircraft as fierce as ever, it's likely that her birthday will continue to be commemorated for years to come. Ali Gibson, Forces News, Kent.